that. But for an overall, like if you're just gonna do some trout fishing and, and actually doing um, spay fishing, you know, I don't know if you want to switch for to be able to 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 do to cast sink tips or uh, you know and fish like indicator rigs, kind of do it all. You know, if you get into a rod this length, you know, you're pretty much going. You know what you're going to do with it is actually spay fishing where you're casting usually sink tips you're usually swinging flies but they actually are a lot more powerful man you know a six in a, in a switch rod i mean it's uh you land any trout in the world with that thing man and and you know it, it's a little small for like big steelhead you know big sink tips you know where you need to throw some real heavy stuff but for you know just an all-around rod man it's uh those it's nice I was telling Jay, I might have to go drink some more of that Pendleton in the car. You <laughs> already <laughs> convinced me of this one. Yeah, you know, man, you know, that, that, as far as that rod, the range you're looking for, man, that's the only one I have in the shop right now. Billy and Carl treated us like family. We hung out with them the remainder of the trip and told war stories about our fishing trips. They even showed us the secret spots and let Danny take out one of their favorite rods for a test drive. What's going on, man? I cannot believe this. I just freaking snapped Carl's $800 sage rod. Just on the cast. I don't even know what I did wrong. Right at the connection. Not even possible. <sighs> His only instructions were don't break it. Danny, what's going on? I gotta go tell Carl I broke his rod. Great, you just open the door and just ask him to come outside really quick. No, just go inside. No, I don't wanna do it in front of these people. Come on. No. Uh, you like breaking the speaker off his ass. What up, boys? Hey, coming in videotape, huh? Nice. Can't call it out, man. How's your trip? It's good. Dude, they had a freaking ass. You guys catch some fish? I'm in. Yeah, that's me, man. Listen. You got one, dude? Did you get one on the tongue? Come on. Come on, man. I was tripped out there, man. Oh, whatever, dude. I'm not even kidding. Serious? I'm serious. Where? Oh, you did break it. How the f did you do that? 
You broke the rod. Yeah, yeah, we've been trying to go the same shit up. You really have to film this? <laughs> Dude, don't feel too bad about it. I gotta I feel terrible about it. You're gonna. I gotta edit all that there, shit. You can't use it now, yeah. dick. Well, don't worry about it. Dude. Come to the bar and let me buy you some shit. So what'd you say? <laughs> I said 75 bucks is what it's gonna cost me to uh, fix Carl's rod for him. Not terrible. 50 bucks for the fix, 25 for the shipping. Which by those rules means that Jason Hales owes me 25 bucks for shipping for breaking my rod. And yeah. you guys both owe me a 12 pack for catching the first fish. Ooh. And you oh, might owe us a sixer for thinking you lost your phone. Oh, being oh, a super not. diva. Wait, I guess why? not. Because we still have to come in town anyways, and if this all works out and we get our licenses, we won't have to come back in the morning. Ah, no, it's we owe you a We owe you a tolver. You give me love, I'll take it. Put it right back where it